Hello my friends and welcome back to another video with some big breaking news as you can tell probably from the last few hours and from the title and thumbnail we have the first official image from the Amazon Lord of the Rings TV series so I think that's the best way um, to put it it's an image Could we'll get into that discussion in a second but to join me in this late hour we firstly have Ken hello my friend hi we also have Galafane aka Talking Tubes, who's another YouTuber and his links will be in the description. Hello my friend. Great to be here. Of course, and we also have Kyle from the Second Age Show. Hello my friend. Hey man, thanks for having me. This is super exciting. Mm-hmm. And finally, we have Nikki. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> mm -hmm. So this has just come out in the last hour or so. I think by the time this video is out, it will be a bit later than that. So I think firstly, I think the first thing to get over is that is September 20, 2022. What was the exact date? Does anybody know? September 2nd. Yeah. Se September second. the 2nd. Okay. So first of all, what's everyone's opinions on that? September 22nd. Uh, I'll start with It's a little bit later know? than I thought. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was going to be uh, more mid twenty twenty two, mid early probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, there is there was like... in the contracts a a clause that stated that the release of the show is from a to be yeah. determined date up wow. to United States time, um, autumn. Mm -hmm. So and it we interpreted it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we interpreted it a bit optimistically as an absolute final deadline, longest possible time. And as it turns out, it is the time in which the show will be released late 2022 as opposed to early. Which is fine, you know, let, by all means, let them take their time with it. Make it, you know, spiffy. 100% agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Nikki, what are your thoughts on it being September? Is that too long for you or are you able to wait like everyone else? Uh, any time is too long for me, of course. <laughs> um, I think I speak for everyone when I say that the yeah. way has been excruciating so far already. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I'm glad they're taking their time with it. And I am excited to see what they do. And the good thing about them taking their time with it is that they're taking their time in post as well. And they're not rushing anything. And if they need to reshoot something, they can. And that also mm -hmm. hopefully means that they will be well on the way with season two as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that we don't oh, have yeah. to wait too long for that one. <laughs> so yeah. that's well, well, well said. Indeed. Yeah, I didn't think of yeah. I didn't even think of this at the moment. Yeah, I think they true. should take their time with their PR cycle and with really everything else. Um, and, you know, Nikki, you sort of said this. Um, after season one, they need to be consistent, but they can delay season one. They can maybe, uh, deliver it sooner, maybe later. Either way, that doesn't really matter so much, but it's much more important, I think, that they keep consistent after season one. And even then, they can, uh, delay or whatever. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. And so yeah, that's the release date overdone with it because finally that that with normally any day with we think that's the biggest news of the day. But now, as we can see on biggest screen, news of the year, yeah, I mean, oh yeah, five yeah. years because <laughs> the rights were finalized um November twenty seventeen. Am I correct? So yeah. Yeah. that's five years is going to be from the rights being bought to the show actually coming out. But firstly, before we get into it, I like to say not even well done Amazon. Just round of applause. This is much bigger than i thought we were going to get for the wrap of filming yeah, definitely I'm, yeah i'm presuming this definitely. is for the wrap of filming that we reported a few days ago that this has now coincidentally come out a few days later so yeah it looks like things no, are be. yeah are going in the right direction so now into this so i think i'll let um hen and carl talk uh explain this a bit so is this an image? Is this official scene from the show? Is this concept art? What is this? I think, uh, Carl, do you want to start off? Yeah, I mean, to me, it looks like concept art, um, especially when you zoom in, it looks like, a, you know, a matte painting, which certainly is used on film sets. You know, they, they'll do a big matte painting and they'll use that as a background. Um, so that's what it looks like to me at first glance. Mm hmm. Ken, do you agree with that? Hen is muted. <laughs> You've muted yourself, buddy. Uh, anyways, um, if we'll get back to him, but 
So yeah, I don't. I think is it fair to assume then this is not probably not an official scene that we're going to. Well, yes, we will see this place in the show. We'll get into a bit what place mm. this is, but I think it's yeah. we're looking at as art because even if you zoom in, in that person, we'll also be talking about later yeah. as well. So, but I think um, the elephant in the room is as you firstly go to the back of the um, this image is the two trees. Who wants to start off with this? Yeah. Oh, uh, presumably the two trees of Varna. Who wants to start off with that? I'll go, I guess. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, probably most of you watching do know, uh, the two trees of Valinor were pretty much light sources. Uh, not the first and not the last light sources of Arda. Uh, destroyed by Melkor in, like, way, way before the Second Age. Um, and uh, their their names are Lorlin and Telperion. And it's sort of like the... Kind of like the moon and the sun, and actually if you read the Book of the Lost Tales, one of them actually sort of made a fruit which became the sun, and one made a fruit which became the moon. Uh, it's a really cool story. Go read the Book of the Lost Tales, it's great. Um, but that's not really that pertinent to really anything else. Um, and what's surprising here is, as I've already said, the two trees were not in the Second Age whatsoever. Mm. So if they're actually going to have the two trees in the show, that means they must have purchased some rights to... Uh, I'm not really sure what books. It could be several books. Um, yeah. And I think it's also a little bit interesting that this looks like Galadriel there. It looks a lot like Morphid Clark, who we know to be this... Galadriel. Can we that was the vibe that... I got as well. Yeah. But can we, um, as you zoom in, does that look like Morphid Clark? Nikki, what do you think? Do you think that is Galadriel? I am not sure um i haven't had a chance because this was kind of last minute i was mm -hmm. sitting here <laughs> i think i was watching a, in the middle of watching a horror movie and then i got a message from you fellowship <laughs> saying can you go online now we need to talk about this I was like, what? <laughs> what are we talking about but um looking at it i i would say it can go both ways like people have been saying that the elves are going to have shorter hair we we don't know how much shorter it's going to be it could potentially be but i kind of feel like she'll be blonder still um, hmm. So my first thought was probably um, uh, Elrond, maybe, or even uh, Anatar, but I'm not hmm. entirely sure. Um, it could be someone else entirely. It could be someone that we haven't even seen yet, and the reason they're putting this person in the picture is because it is someone that we don't even know is going to be included. I don't know. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I think it can be either. I just, um, I kind of feel like Galadriel does, well, she's she's known for her blonde hair, so at least her hair should be blonde, but who am I to judge? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking her hair looked like it was in a bun, assuming this is Galadriel, which would be an interesting choice for an elf, but I mean, not that weird, not like as weird as, I don't know, an elf having a, a really short haircut or a buzz cut or something. Um... But also, you do see a little bit of blonde if you zoom in on the head, and some of that could be the light reflecting on the hair, but also it's a really small, like if you zoom in all the way onto the person's head, it's extremely pixelated. You can't really tell what the color of their hair is mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, it could just be the scene because it's a really dark scene. It looks like it's dawn. Um, yeah, it's, well, it's a backlit photo, right? So, so yeah, the, the so front of it would be darker. Would be dark. Yeah, I actually yeah, have a uh, still, blonde major... hair doesn't it doesn't look like that. Like, I mean, I have blonde no, hair, I, and in I my agree, pictures, yeah. it just doesn't look that so. dark. <laughs> I agree. I, I, the only thing I would say is it it does look like it's backlit, so it will look a bit darker. Yeah. But you're absolutely right; it should it should be lighter. Um, yeah. I actually get really major Princess Leia vibes from this photo. Yes, yeah, but who yeah. else would wear a white cape like that? I, I don't mm. know. Is that like yeah. a any elf could wear that, especially based on, like, um, the city, like, based on where they're from. They could be wearing specific colored capes. They could be, it could Absolutely, even be not yeah. an elf. It could be a person from Numenor. I don't know. It could Definitely. be, it could be anyone. It could be, I, I, I think, was not going to um, say it could be a hobbit, but, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be anyone. It looks like an elf, to be honest, yeah. and I think that's an elven area, especially with the two trees there, which is, again, really weird, but even if, yeah. I don't know... It's not the two trees. I still think it's got to be some other elven area. And if you zoom in on the boats, sort of in the left part of the photo, 
you can see sort of swan-like ships, which yeah. could also yeah. be Numenor. I could There's see them one in the that kind of Numenor, but um, yeah. yeah, I but think at the same time, I mean, travels. there are other people uh, that are traveling through Elven land, especially mm -hmm. at that time. So oh, this know, one. Um, <laughs> yeah. Either way, um, like what yeah. it does point Play out though, time, is that they're probably you know. going to be telling the story about one one particular there's going to be one major lead in this first season at least that we're going to be following yeah. that's what it mm. seems like to me because it's one they picked a, like a very specific picture with one person this whole picture is telling a story yeah um already I, I, that, yeah, I, I, yeah it's about a journey and it's about this person's journey that's what i feel i i think it's a it's a flashback because yeah. it's not part mm. of the story of the show. And I think it's part of Galadriel's backstory and her yeah. having short hair in this, which she does. And I do think that looks like more of a clock um, is possibly, you know, I think it's, it's just for the sake of the flashback more than anything. I, I doubt that that will be you know, the look, but, but, but certainly it looks like Valinor um, based on the two trees um, that does look like more clock. Um, I, I, I assume the, the, the portion of the image that has her in it is live action and the rest has been filled in. Um, and so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think I think Swan mentioned Numenor earlier. I think it's safe to say that we could cast away. I don't think this um, is a chance of it really being a Numenor place unless from the... Actually, no, that because Numenor wasn't around the time when the trees. Yeah, yeah, that's Numenor. I don't think we can rule that out for any people at home. It's also there. not particularly seaside. Mm -hmm. There's water mm -hmm. in the shot, but it's not on the shore by any means. Um, the mount there mm. seem to be mountains yeah. in the background. It actually mm. looks, environmentally speaking, like look at the cliffs. Looks like Rivendell. Um, the environment yeah, in which it's surrounded very much looks yeah, like Peter Jackson's Rivendell. Like it's yeah. the same. The the, the architecture doesn't, but bit. the landscape does, yeah. Yeah. The landscape. The, landscape. the architecture yeah. looks... And yeah. honestly, it should look like that. The architecture should look pretty much just the same as what Peter Jackson showed, but uh, ten times as grand. Yeah. It does. Yeah. yeah. It's much bigger. We've never seen an elven city that looks like this. <laughs> Not even. It close. does look very familiar, though. I think it looks. It, it looks. It's it's like, in the same style. Know, house art or something like that. Yeah. It's in the also same the, style. The, the colors uh, really remind me of um, Linden. Really, is what it makes yeah. me feel like. And yeah. I was. I can, yeah, that's this, what I was thinking. Yeah. Well. So the, I yeah. think the next thing is: Do you think maybe just for, if, let's say this is um, concept. The art for the show, maybe this is a different. Um, as we can see, this city, this magnificent place that we're seeing here, maybe the two trees, maybe um, that's in the background and it's far away, but it's just been zoomed in a bit closer. So maybe from this city, you can maybe see the two trees uh, potentially Valinor far away. So maybe we're not actually in Valinor here, but um, the trees, yeah, but mm. they're pretty huge in the shots, yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it's been yeah. brought forward, maybe just to show, but. Um, the only thing oh. that makes me hesitate about that is that they're placed on the right side of the frame, mm -hmm. almost looking east. And if I was going to allude to that myself, I would I would certainly place it on the left side and, and really have it lean into that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. As if we're facing oh, west. Yeah. Sure. I mean, that's just that's just what I would do. Knowing Amazon, yeah. though, you know, <laughs> they uh, they can be a bit sneaky. So they might have just placed them there to confuse people. Yeah, well, this whole thing is confusing, right? Because it could, it, it feels it's... like, it, like an, it could be anywhere, right? Like, that's what it yeah. feels like. And I wonder, I do wonder Valinor, if that's deliberate. Yeah. That brings up a very uh, interesting discussion mm -hmm. with regards to are they actually going to show Valinor and mm -hmm. how will they do that? Because Valinor is like, it's like heaven. Like, it, it's, it's going to be difficult to portray. It's depicted in the undepictable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has yeah, to be exactly. done very, very tasteful. Um, Which please. is partially why I think it's just a flashback to establish Galadriel's character. Just some yeah. of her backstory. Um, but it is a lot... You know, it looks like it's still a concept art stage, but mm. as that is a pretty big CGI shot to oh, sort of waste, quote-unquote... On, on a flashback, on a brief flashback. So, but yeah, they have the money. It's possible. They have the money. Um, and it's, it's, it would make me very possible. excited 
like this sort of stuff <laughs> just makes me excited to see the rest. Yeah, it looks, yeah. it looks this, great. This is exactly I still, what I want to see yeah. and experience and, yeah. and the feeling that I want to feel when I see the show yes, is yeah, in this also. photo. And it's just, I cried a little when I saw it. Yep. <laughs> I, have to admit, I still have goosebumps. I still yeah. have goosebumps. I, yeah, I'm kind of still a bit in orbit. In uh, the, yeah. cool. On the right side near the trees in front of it, is that, um, it looks like a lake. Is that a river? Do you think that looks like? Uh, yeah, I yeah. think it is. It doesn't look like a I sea. was thinking um, of actual places it could be away from Val Valor or City there is uh, maybe, I think it's Mithlond and that it may be the Grey Havens, but at the same time, yeah. it's too much of a small split to go out into the sea if you get what i mean we've got that um, fame so that is um yeah. and so it depends yeah but it looks that. like it runs all the way through there mm -hmm. so we're yeah. seeing a little bit of it on both sides so, but it's yeah, yeah, what I think, yeah so that's what i say again i think there's a river and there's something a sea or whatever there and then you see on the other side you see so the trees are on the other side of this river thing so it maybe let like me my speculation is probably um the least uh, i think likely but Maybe that could hand into that, but uh, we'll have to see. But I was thinking, um, we, I think, talk to you, you were mentioning um, the boats as well. Do you want to expand on that? Yeah, so pretty much the elves sort of had swan-like boats. I think that's actually mentioned in, um, okay, I forgot where, but one of the Lord of the Rings books uh, when in the parting of Galadriel. I don't know and you see chapter, it in the movie but, as well. You see sort of yeah. swan-like shape, like the gray boats that they sail out of uh, Lothlorien as well. Yep. They and, look um, kind of Galadriel like that, and then you see, yeah, yeah you and, see again, like little boat boats around yes. them as well. Also, yeah. Galadriel uh, so has a big it's swan shape. It's definitely pointing to yeah. this being an elven place, but I think we've already decided that, especially, you know, with the two trees sitting out there. Yeah, that's uh, a big... It's pretty convincing. Um... And I don't think there's that much else that they can tell them. Again, if the two trees weren't there, then we'd still know it was an elven place. Um, I still think it could be strange. Numenor. I mean, the elves did travel mm. to Numenor as well. But so, how like, I mean, I don't there? think we should just brush it off. It could be. They could just have yeah. placed the trees there for yeah. fun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, but then, I think, I think <laughs> that's why we're... Maybe. But then the timelines... Yes. Yeah. But, okay, here's... It's a... just, if you look at... Yeah, go you on. Go ahead. Um, so what I was saying was that so we've been hearing for like a long time, for we've seen this since um I remember saying in October that the first two episodes might be um that they might be standalone and that's why it's taken these extra months. That's why it took neither basically the whole year, of course, of COVID to finish these pilot episodes. So maybe this is a scene maybe from the pilot episodes. I remember that time jump that everyone talks about from the pilots to episode three four five and six so maybe this that is could a happen. so maybe this is the shot from the first two pilot episodes yeah, yeah if we're gonna be standalone and, and to lead into the series yeah. that could actually yeah. work yeah, so i just wasn't to expecting to see the trees yeah mm -hmm. looking at the trunks one tree trunk is yellow or really just white which it's white, yeah means it's not just a trick of the sun especially because the other tree looks to be very close to it and its trunk is gray yeah, and yeah. again you know and they're sort huge of filter on the photo yes so yeah that's a really yeah well it said. looks yeah it's massive so it's got to be the two trees mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. and again it's, that's it's, sort of unless i'm mistaken shippy said that amazon could have done a reference back to yeah. like I was going uh, to valnor or anything outside of the the rights that they had bought if the Tolkien estate allowed them. You know, there was some he said, he some said, stuff that was just up to the Tolkien estate. He said more than that. If if it's something from the first age, but it's mentioned in the Lord of the Rings, and the two trees are mentioned on the first page of Appendix A, it's mm. fine. It's absolutely mentioned in Lord of the Rings. Like, completely clearly. Yeah. Um, so if, if it's in the, the, the Lord of the Rings, it's fine. Um, and it looks, yeah, it's superb. Uh. Yeah, so I think the first thing that we could take away from this maybe, well, one of the ideas is that maybe this could be in the pilot episode and maybe that's why he's throwing us off. So maybe for, hey, let's say, if you don't get anything for another few months, for four or five months, we're talking about this photo and that takes away from maybe when the actual <laughs> show, the rest of the episodes might take place. Maybe that's a smart idea from Amazon. But not, nonetheless, sure. um, the there's still the two trees in the background and that's still even if that might be the case that's still massive because that is um 
that you can i know the law why you say if it's part of the first stage it has the year of the trees and stuff like that so it's even behind that so yeah so yeah, it's before the first yeah, stage before, yeah so yeah I was, and I think another interesting thing, just seeing those waterfalls on the side. I know Son mentioned it earlier, but it does really look like the one those in Rivendell. So it's the so, same landscape. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. They have to they have to put it somewhere. Um. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's not it's not an you know it's not on the coast. Like you see hills as far as as far as the eye can see. Like uh, it goes way into the background. There's no expanse of water there, right? You will see that the city itself stretches into the. It's kind of masked by the light, mm. but it stretches far away yes. into that bay with the little boats. Um, yeah. So it's a it's a big place, and it's in the woods, like they are building interspersed, very much like yeah. Rivendell, I would say. The the, the yeah. art design look of it is very. It's different. It's not a copy of any elven environment we've seen, but it's very familiar. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like there are people um like on the road as well yeah. and on the like the uh, especially like uh, on the bridges towards the foreground you can see yes. like yeah, things that look so. like people yeah and it looks like they're wearing cloaks as well and if you look back to galadriel and again i'm assuming that's galadriel i think that's a pretty sure guess but it might not be you never know um that looks very similar to peter jackson's uh, costume for Galadriel, you know, white robes flowing. Granted, I, they do look a little bit different, honestly. Uh, this sounds a little bit Would weird, a little bit more transparent. Well. Like her yeah, well, Galadriel uh, has a couple of clothes left. in the movies, not one, but yeah, sure, the, the kind of white lady look. Yeah, well, I, I feel think like she's always wearing those white robes. I see what you guys are saying, but uh, and no offense to Morphid Clark if this is her, <laughs> but I feel like. Like the way the body is positioned right now, it looks more like a masculine frame than a feminine one. But that's, that's yeah, just, I, I don't know, it could be the angle, could be the posing. I'm not going to say that um, Morford Clark looks masculine because that would be, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's but, ambiguous, I think, right? Yeah, it is. well. It is. I, I, don't know. I totally see what, what you're talking about, though. Yeah, I think 100%. we did that on purpose, too, to make it difficult yes. to get. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, could be. I mean, personally, I I don't really see a masculine form at all, uh, and, and part of that could just be given the clothes, which look a little bit more feminine. Um, big deltoids, big deltoids. Yeah. So, um, I think here's interesting now. So we have talked about the picture itself. Now I think we have um touched upon as well what this means mean for the story but let's say for example this is let's presume two things that this is in the first two episodes and that it might so this is then there's a time jump and second of all this is not a flashback so i know there's a, it could easily be a flashback but we're using these two scenarios so maybe in the first two episodes will we start in the first stage maybe so i don't i think it's too far back to show the children of of Iluvatar awakening and just showing the mm -hmm. beginning i think it's too far back for that because you even see how um yeah Iluvatar, that's even before this yeah. much before mm -hmm. yeah um so Very right and then something else sorry go ahead so I'll, I'll leave it on this another discussion point maybe could this show we might see the war of wrath so we come here first to Galadriel in the first two yeah. episodes, or maybe a callback to it, and then we see the um, you see the War of Wrath in the first two episodes, and we and we see um whatever this place is, presumably um, a place of Valinor before that. So before the, uh, I guess all that happens. So do you think that's a possibility? I don't know I about don't actually so. seeing it, like not seeing it, but I think certainly uh, allusions to it and maybe, yeah. uh, you know, a scene or two in a flashback or, you know, I think they'll yeah. have to talk about it to some extent. Yeah, I agree. I think really like showing it is too much because then really, I don't know, I feel like with everything in Middle Earth, you have to explain something not at all or you have to really go in yeah. depth, which is sort yeah. of what Peter Jackson didn't do with the Eagles because... You know, they, they were sort of in there once or twice, and it's really because of Peter Jackson that people thought, um, oh, why didn't they just use the eagles? When in reality, <laughs> the books explain the eagles a bit more. Um, and again, still, there's some people who might have read the books and thought that was a plot hole, even though it really wasn't. 
Mm. But I, I again, I feel like if Peter Jackson left out the Eagles, they wouldn't have had those questions. Not saying they should have left out the Eagles, but if they bring something in from the first stage that's not really in the that shouldn't be in the show, then it's just gonna make viewers ask a whole lot of questions. I think it's just backstory. It does point towards a couple of things. It points towards the possibility of a prologue. That's one. Yeah. Um, and the, the other thing that it does is that I think it possibly answers the question of whether Anatar's identity will be kept secret. Because if you're showing this, um, no, that wasn't that wasn't Sauron though. That was Melkor. So no, never right. mind the second yeah. one. Um, yeah. But yeah, sure. Um, I don't think we'll see a ton of this. I think it's a flashback to help establish Galadriel's character. And some of the dynamics that are... Might might see a bit of Feanor, because it's important for Celebrimbor's backstory. That'd be really nice to see. Really, really interesting, too. But again, I feel like there'd be a ton to explain if you even mentioned Feanor. It is, yeah. Maybe, maybe just... We, we voice over, you can, you can do it. But, but I sure. mean, yeah. Yeah, Plus, Fenor technically doesn't live in this city. This would be, what is it, Eldamar? Um, Fenor uh, would have, would have been banished to. I can't remember the name of the place. Um, an Noldorin city of some kind of fortress um, for raising sword. I think against Fingolfin. Mm -hmm. It's from memory. I don't. I not the part of the Silmarillion that I know terribly well, but sure. Mm hmm and so the i think so it's right now i think the two things are either flashback or maybe a scene in the first two episodes and that is why um the first no idea two, yeah in the first two episodes then there's a time jump forward so um i i would say i'm i'm not in favor of the idea of featuring this for two whole episodes because you know, Valinor is, I think Nikki said it, it's, you know, it's it's depicting the undepictable. And the way to do it is, is very brief glimpses. If, if you linger on it too much, it will lose its its magic. Um, you know? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. point. Yeah, I agree with that. And so I'm, I'm thinking that, I think the next place we can go is, what does this mean overall for the show? We have seen... Um, the first look and that is september 2022 and i'm thinking um i've been looking at the hollywood um reporter thing right um article on it right now and it says that it will air in 240 territories around the world it just shows how massive this is going to be so wow um that's really cool i think i think this is a quote um from Amazon, it says, I can't express enough just how excited we all are to take our global audience on a new and epic journey through Middle Earth, added Solka. Our talented producers, cast, creative and production teams have worked tirelessly in New Zealand to bring this untold and awe, untold and awe-inspiring vision to life. Um... Okay, and confirmed, the above photo is confirmed from the show's first episode. But the oh, studio wow. is not identifying the character, the character or actor at this time. So, Very so yeah, interesting. That's, that's what, what are Very those updates I think exciting. now? Any... It's exciting. Mm -hmm. you, you, do, you do see, of course... Um... One of the less conspicuous aspects of the picture, but one that we started talking about just before we started rolling, it's it's in it's in a two forty to one, it's in cinematic L, um, aspect ratio. Yeah, I think it's actually one point nine one to one, um, which is oh. a standard uh, aspect ratio yeah, for sure. Instagram. Yeah, but it's very close, right? Like it, it's certainly, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like you know, digital IMAX. Yeah. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, so you've got it's that. It's very that good for television of... because it fills the TV quite nicely. Exactly, um, and you've got that letterboxing, and it's it's yeah. it's it's almost anamorphic, right? No, anamorphic would be two thirty. Two point three five. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, but but right. yeah, but it's like it's like you know what it's like. It's like the digital IMAX aspect ratio of the Hobbit. So it's not something that is without precedent. In this in this franchise because the digital IMAX wasn't cropped, so it's about That's the right. same. Yeah, it's That's a pl right. very pleasant framing. Looks very nice. 
Mm -hmm. and I, it seems as though everyone everyone else's eyes have glazed because it sure sounds like it <laughs> yeah i think we're all in awe right now and so yeah this changes it a bit now it's in the first episode i uh, talked to us off of you what does that mean does that change what you originally thought that this is confirmed that it will be the first episode of the show it does for me a little bit for sure mm -hmm. talk to you if you're still here um, yeah, I, I'm not really convinced this is going to be the f in the first episode. I'm not really sure at all. Uh, probably... Well, Hollywood Report you know, just confirmed it end. from Solke himself, herself. That's oh, okay. What, so it's confirmed right. from Solke, so it is, uh, does that change anything? Yeah, it has to be in the first. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of interesting that Galadriel is going to be in the very first episode, much less her backstory is. And again, mm -hmm. that's assuming that this person here is Galadriel. Um, as I've already said, I've always thought that the show was going to be more about Celebrimbor because, you know, the forging of the rings, that, that event which sets off everything else that happens in the world of Arda, period. Um, but it does look like they're going the route of Galadriel rather than Celebrimbor. No, no, I'm, st I'm still with you on that. I, I think you're I think you're right. I think, you know, if this is a prologue, right, like the first two episodes are a prologue, um, that... The, the 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 main focus could certainly switch after after a time jump and i think for the first maybe the first season or the first few episodes after the first two episodes um Celebrimbor could certainly play a major role and i think that makes sense it's almost like a it's i, I hate to make this comparison but um i've made it before and i think it's almost like a like a ned stark type of storyline in a way no way yeah Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I think I think we'll have Celebrimbor for a bit longer than that. I really just think I don't think this will fill all two first episodes, especially if they're the length no. that we believe that they will be. I think it's just a quick flashback. I do think they want to play the show Galadriel centric um, for any number of reasons. One is unlike Celebrimbor, she lives. You know, she 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 survives through the whole thing, which is an advantage. Um, yeah. But also. Um, She's a known character that people like. It's one of the bigger actresses in their cast. Um, um, what else? And it suits Amazon's, shall we say, societal vision to have a, a female lead as well. So, that's, that's yeah. I think, totally a reason. Um, I'm... Which is fine. Okay, so here's another interesting thing that I'd like to play on. Could this be possibly be Sauron, who at the time I think, if he, according to, um, I think if they okay. go to Sauron, I no. think he, was he known as Myron at this time? I believe that was. I think Myron, I've read, yeah. Yeah, read, yeah, I read that somewhere Myron. before when I read the books years ago, and I think um, so could um having s this maybe being Sauron in maybe Valinor in the first stage could that um add a twist sure. to this, and that's why maybe his identity is not revealed. Could that be it a... had a twist, but there's just no way. I, I just definitely not. <laughs> I mean, first off, just looking at the character, that's not a very masculine thing to wear. And again, I know it's elves and it's yeah. essentially a medieval oh, yeah. setting, but still, I just do not see Anatar. It's a gal or Sauron or whichever of his forms. I'm I'm still um, open gender wise. I'm pretty open to to what that is, but I get what you're saying. Me too. Yeah, I think yeah. Nikki said that um, as well. That yeah, she did. So I think I think do you guys um, agree that we have? Um, I know there's so much more to speculate, but for this first initial room, we have. Um, I think we have gone over it in. Um, I think uh, quite good detail, and I'm thinking finally. So I think should we just recap by saying what we think? These should we make a short list? In fact, actually, of what um the this. First of all, let's talk about the place. We've talked about the character a lot. We've talked about the tree. So this place, this, as you can tell, this city. So I'm thinking, so I think, yeah, so far. So my, I don't think it's going to be this, but what I'd add to the list is Mithlond or maybe Gilgalad's high seat in Linden. I'm sure, I'm not sure. I think it varied where it actually was, but that's what I'm putting forward to the short list. And uh, does anyone, uh, others feel free to put more. I, I, th I still think it's Eldamar in Valinor. Um, I don't think it's um, Islan. Like, look, this. It's completely in the same yeah. style. I know, I was just adding it for the Jackson sake of film. having variety. Completely. Just for the um, sake of I think completely in the same style. 
And so it doesn't look like Mithlon because we've seen Mithlon. Um, could it be somewhere else in the... I mean, the trees are just the biggest giveaway in the world. Uh, mm. Yeah. So, yeah. no, I'm, I'm going with Veldemar. <laughs> I'm with you on that, Ken. Yeah, I think... Um... I think I agree that this is um, probably in Valinor, Val and um, I'm thinking someone else just put something really interesting that's come to mind. Um, it's a similarity between Morphe Clark's robe style from Saint Maud. I'll um, put this. Um, I'll put this. As first, mm-hmm. I'll send this into the chat quickly so we can uh, talk about this for a few minutes. Um, so does this? Does this? Um, uh, can all of you see this now? What I've sent on chat. I've watched Saint Maud. Um, I don't see the resemblance very much. In the end, maybe in the final shot. But yeah, but she's meant to look kind of saintly mm. there. Well, that's mm. kind of the Galadriel look, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's I don't particularly see it. I think it's a completely generic similarity. Mm. Um, They've been shooting this since before uh, Saint Maud came out. They've been well into true. shooting it. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. um, I don't see why they would uh, why they would do that anyway. Like it it doesn't really there there is not really a point. I don't think yeah, they would do that nod isn't such to a another big movie anyway. It did. Even though I think it was a great movie it, and she acted amazingly in it, I I don't think that a show like this would need to do a uh, nod to anything apart from Tolkien. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. um, going back to if this is an image or if it's a shot, if it's maybe some people might still be thinking this is a scene from the show. Well, Ben Walker has interestingly um, he has said first image from Lord Drunks and Prime, so he's been on set. He's been probably maybe at this um place. So oh, this but, is so yeah, you he, wouldn't have seen that yeah. on set, but sure. Yeah, not not seen on set, but you probably would have seen. Maybe it was in the walls of the place because we know that of course, like how they did it for Gondor in the and I think these Rohan. And uh, they think the helm's deep for the same place. Then they move the walls around. So maybe he's been in the walls of this place, but um, he said, and he said also featuring Middle Earth's bougiest Airbnb. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love that, yeah. love that. So yeah, and I just had another point that's just um gone out of my head right now. So um that's quite a shame. So so yeah, I think I think just about um. That about does it, this is the first. Of course, we will follow up to this over the coming um, days and weeks. And um, I, and actually, interestingly, um, of course, there's a picture of Gondolin. Um, thank you, talk to you for this. Um, that is interestingly, yeah, that's, inter- yeah, that's very. Imagine if that was Gondolin. That would be <laughs> yeah, that would be. Um, and 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 the, the the mural of of um of what is it of. Uh... <laughs> Of um, of Austin Adil that appears in uh, Rivendell, the towers are very much in the same style. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm-hmm. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. could it and, be and a much radio? of it looks Rivendell-like a bit as well. Could Honestly, it be a radio? I think a radio? There's no doubt. It's got to be somewhere in Valinor because I mean, how it else is. would you explain the two trees? Unless be. they've got the two trees in Eregion, which uh, couldn't really be. I don't know, but but, but what again, I'm saying is. They, they, they can, you know, it makes sense that if they're showing Valinor in flashback and they want to establish an elvish look, even though there is an elvish look, it's the elvish look of Peter Jackson's, like it's completely recognizable. Um, it would make sense that Austin Adil would somehow resemble um, the city, presumably Eldamar. Um, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so the towers are very much the same as the mural that you see, really see, <laughs> in Rivendell. <laughs> yeah. um, and so I think um, that, um, I think that just about wraps it for we've just around hitting um, the 40 minute mark. So, of course, I'm sure there'll be much speculation probably over the next days, weeks, and presumably months as well. Because, yeah, and it's interesting, again, it just comes back to me again, that when we were discussing that contract um, so long ago, it was US for, um 2022, and it literally was right there in front of us, and we just couldn't believe it. And, um, like, we, we even then, we didn't think that it could be that, did we? 
Yeah, I thought it was like an end date mm -hmm. for the final episode mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Or maximum. It's the optimist in me that would have, mm -hmm. would, have, would have thought that it would come out sooner. But again, it just shows that they're taking their, their post-production very, very, very seriously. And that's a yeah. very good thing. And yeah, I mean, wait. if you think about if you think about how long pre-production and production both respectively took, you know, I think it makes sense to take just as much time, if not more, with with post-production. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a very good thing. Yeah. yeah, and this I think leads interestingly into maybe what we could see next. Maybe. Do you think what yeah. could we oh, see man. next? So many, so many possibilities. This is I I, I really appreciate that this is ambiguous and and. I do wonder if Amazon's done this on purpose because, like, we've I think we've established here that this could really be anything. Yeah, they don't want to show their hand too much, to sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if we'll see anything quite like this, like a big vista, probably mm. characters and things. I think. I will say I'm su I'm surprised I'm surprised we got this before we got uh, like roles. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm kind of shocked. Yeah. Um... yeah. <laughs> they do have an yeah. interesting strategy, but it works. It gets us talking. Yeah. Yeah. We've been talking yes. since yes, 2017. Yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> and I think just on the Council of Fans podcast, uh, like Friday or, or sometime pretty recently, <laughs> we actually, this came up and yeah. let's just say we're going to, <laughs> uh, we were wrong about a few things. Yeah. And yeah. Myself, especially, I did not think at all that we'd see a teaser image until, I don't know, probably like late this year or early next. See, I'll yeah, have to sure. um, do some editing on that podcast and um, just um, <laughs> yeah. meddling around there. But I'm hoping, just think of it like this, guys. A year and a month from now, we'll be doing the same thing, but for the first episode. You... Yeah? Sure. I'd, no. It would be completely believe. different. Yeah. Instead of this investigative work, it will be more like, mm -hmm. um, you know, musing over doing kind of film criticism and that oh. sort of thing. Uh, yeah, hope I, it will be completely different. I'll make sure to have Penguin on for those panels to provide some variety on that, because I'm sure he will be the yeah. nicest critic out of us all. But um, I think I think that's just about it. Firstly, thank you everyone here for coming on so last minute. This is literally we're in the space um it's the space of time that's being released um so that is um that is really great. So firstly, thank you Ken for coming on. Oh. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, it's it's great. Um, I'm kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. And as I said, also thank you to talking to you as well, my friend. Yeah, always great to be on. Indeed. Also, thank you to Kyle. Thanks again, man. I'm I'm absolutely elated. Yeah, as you all are. And finally, um, Nikki, I'm so sorry that I just um, I just caught you unaware. I caught you and Hen both unaware. I I'm just saying. Like, oh, I think, good. You yeah. know, I'm always here for your fellowship. And I'm mine always, was by I'm far the funniest. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What happened? No, I was like, um, Ken, you have to come on right now. And he was like, um, why? What's happened? And this was like 15 <laughs> minutes after the photo come out. But he'd yeah, and he was like, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but you replied <laughs> to I, me within <laughs> a second. I was like, so yeah. And, the same <laughs> and I was because I looked it up, and then I was like, holy smokes. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was kind of. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, I'm always down to talk Tolkien with you guys, so uh, it's been a pleasure as usual. Yeah. And, um, Nikki, I heard you mention earlier about maybe this being a region, and I was thinking if it was the only place I'd see it being there is Austin at Hill. I think that's the only real place. Uh, that's just the end bit as yeah. well, that place that we could really see from that. So, yeah. yeah, I think we just like the whole internet thinks it's Valinor. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I will say if 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 the cities of Linden and and just you know the cities in general in this show are as resplendent as, mm -hmm. as this, like kind of yeah. big and impressive, we are in for that. That would make me very happy, yeah. uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Very happy. Definitely. Thank you, Amazon, for this. Yeah. We love you guys and we're excited. <laughs> Please. Bring us more. My heart is hurting. Yeah. I need more. We're ready. Oh, I'll leave yes, the next we are. Yeah, we're, we are. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's in 4K as well. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. I think... don't think it will be in 4K in the show. I think it would be too, yeah. but but still. Yeah. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. But um, most of all, I'm sure everyone else watching this is excited as well. So, we have the first official image from the Amazon Lord of the Rings TV series, which is 
premiering the first maybe a few episodes will be premiering on september the 2nd so we don't know if it's all going to be in one day i hope not or just a weekly thing so and we could probably tell from how the wheel of time is released so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it please like and subscribe but until the next video my friends as i'm sure there'll be many goodbye